What's up guys, it's Joe Gorgi here from JG Music and today I'm coming at you with another video which is targeted towards the beginners and intermediates in Logic Pro X. There is a feature in Logic Pro X which I want to talk about today. It's a very versatile and handy tool to have at your arsenal as a producer or a songwriter. The feature in question that I'm talking about is called Alchemy. And if you don't know what Alchemy looks like, it looks like this. And what Alchemy is, is a software instrument and also a sound bank of many presets of different instruments and textures. Basically, if you've ever gone on any of the presets in the left hand window of Logic, there's a very high chance that you have used a preset in Alchemy, but you may have not actually gone on the Alchemy software yourself. Again, maybe this video is for someone who is more of a beginner in Logic and hasn't explored Logic properly. But if you're clicking on this video because you're curious to learn more about Alchemy, I'm going to give you a quick run through of the plugin, of what it can do and how you can utilize it best in your projects and for your own sound as a producer or songwriter. But very quickly, before I do get into the video, guys, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Subscribing is the best way to support the channel in any future content that I do. And especially if you find this video helpful or are curious to know more about logic, mixing and mastering or songwriting or just producing in general, this is the channel for you, whether you're a beginner, intermediate or expert. But anyway, with that out of the way, let's have a look at Alchemy. Okay, so we are now in Logic and we want to upload Alchemy. So if you go into all of the plugins that you have at your disposal and software instruments, you click on Alchemy, which is right at the top conveniently, open it up and you will be presented uh, with this. Now, again, as I mentioned earlier, Alchemy, not only is it a good software instrument and synthesizer, but it's also a sound bank. In this case, of over 3,485 presets in many different categories, genres and timbres. Whether you're looking for a bass sound, brass, drums, guitar, keys, or any sort of pads and synths, like there is probably something on here for you. Nowadays, a lot of people spend a lot of money, say, on native instruments, as an example, to try and expand their collection of sounds so they're not limited in what they can achieve in terms of production. But Alchemy has a lot more to offer than you think it does. So I just want to quickly show you a couple of features on here, which will be really handy for your production of songwriting. So how Alchemy works is you have category, subcategory, genre, and timbre. So the category, basically, is it is it a bass? Are you looking for drums, guitars? So let's say you want to look for bass. Then you can go into the subcategories and it's categorized every type of bass based on their characteristics or what they bring. So in this case, you've got acoustic, classic, electric, layered. So let's say we go acoustic, go one down, we go down to genre and genre is pretty self-explanatory. Logic has gone through the effort to categorize all of the sounds into genres and what they might fit in in a production. So if we wanted a pop acoustic bass, and then after that, you've got the timbre. So it entails the performance of the bass as well as the texture and basically what it sounds like. So if we want just a clean acoustic pop bass, we have now been given and presented all of these options here and all of these are different presets. So if we just click on one, and we go down, and that's how you can search for presets. So again, if we want to go for guitars, say we want an acoustic guitar in pop again, but I maybe want it to be quite a nice bright guitar, as you can see, all of these many different acoustic guitars fitting that description have popped up. And I think that's a really cool feature. A very handy thing now that I want to point out about Alchemy is the stars here called the rating. Now, there's so many presets on Alchemy that it could be hard sometimes if you find a sound that you like, maybe you want to use it again in the near future, it become part of your sound as a producer. Something you can do which is very handy is you can give it a rating out of five stars. So make sure you clicked on it first. So if you really like the sound while you're clicking through it and you want to go through the effort, uh, you can click five stars so you know that is a plugin that you highly rate. Or if you come across some plugins which you know you're never going to use and you want to save yourself the time when flicking through, you can give it a one star. It's completely up to you and it's all a matter of opinion. So we'll leave it at three stars for now. And uh, once you have given it a review, it stays on the gold stars. So now I want to go down and show you this bottom bit here. So this is how you can expand on the presets in Alchemy. It's a very handy tool so you can start making these sounds really your own. So again, if we're going to go for this sound, let's just go for something a bit more ambient guitar. Cool. So these are more presets of all of these settings here. So say we wanted to go to Muted Flanger, Delay Build. You can really start to experiment with what this sound can bring to your production. Muffled. 
So from a sound design point of view, this is very handy to have. And then you can manually adjust all of these settings here. So you've got, in this case, the delay cutoff effects and all the others, but this is these settings change depending on what preset you had. So for example, if we were gonna go to keys, let's just click whatever this is. As you can see, everything has changed here because it's suited to whatever the sound is and what the settings are. But in this corner, you do have your classic ADSR, the attack, decay, sustain, and release. So again, from a synthesizer point of view, you can adjust a lot more. It's very handy to have them, especially the release and attack, because sometimes when you hear a preset, maybe it doesn't snap how you want it, or maybe, again, it doesn't have that sort of release where it fades out a lot more or holds the notes. So it's good to know that that is there. So it is, at the end of the day, a proper synthesizer still. Once you've picked the sound, you can get rid of this by just clicking onto the simple mode. But again, alchemy is something which is very sophisticated and it does have an advanced setting so you can manipulate the sound even more to how you want it. One really cool feature I quickly want to point out is you can actually sample in uh, sounds by dragging them into any of the sources here. I'll also mention that there is three different uh, categories here as well. This is for ARP. Now ARP, it creates a more rhythmic quality to the sims which is really handy to have if you're trying to make a pad or something texture to go running in the background. And then you've got effects as well. So you can control all of the settings which are being put into here as well. So if you want a setting which isn't on these eight, eight settings here, you can click on here and find the settings you want here as well. So yes, guys, that was just a brief run through of Alchemy. Again, if you're watching this video and you hadn't heard of Alchemy before, I can't recommend this enough. This is an incredible sound bag of many different instruments. And if you haven't heard of this, again, you would have probably used Alchemy without realizing it. But using this properly gives you a chance to manipulate Logic presets to make stuff more your own sound and your own music. Especially if you think that you're getting limited by Logic stock plugins and software instruments and you wanted to branch out and maybe you spend money on getting a vaster array of software instruments try to hold back and give alchemy a proper go because there is so much that this sound bank and synthesizer can do as the proper producers out there will know sometimes to find the sound that you need in your production it can take a little bit of searching and with 3488 different presets i'm sure you can find the sound that you're looking for or find something close and then manipulate it in alchemy to make it your own if you're a beginner in logic pro x and you want to learn more about the door then i'll leave the link below to my playlist which has all my Logic Pro X for beginners videos that includes mixing and mastering tutorials through different plugins and explanations of software instruments and how everything operates in Logic as well as a tour. But till then guys thank you for watching this video hit that subscribe button if you've made it this far keep making music and I will see you in the next video.